by punishing Meghan enough, Invictus director David Wisman rendered the fraudulent Invictus of Harry invalid. David Wisman, the director of Invictus, recently talked about the potential consequences for Meghan Markle of Prince Harry's out-of-the-ordinary activity during the Invictus Games. Close friend of Prince Harry, Wisman, the head of the Invictus Games Foundation, explained how Harry used a different tactic for the game's German launch. According to one Wisman, the Duke of Sussex had another plan for the Invictus Games program. This tactic was inspired by Harry's attendance to the Warrior Games in 2013. The time frame that Harry had in mind was not fully known to wise men and the team at the time. According to wise men, we didn't really realize that the time frame that he had in mind bearing in mind that it was May 2013 we sat back to the Warrior Games that afternoon and he stood on stage at the podium I think it had been written in his speech book to say look we'd like to do this I think that he'd added his own notes that said next year we went rock we were like what next year for a considerable amount of time there were just three or four of them managing the Invictus Foundation. Overseeing the ambitious project, they managed to get it up and running by September 2014 and the event took place at Queen Elizabeth's Olympic Park. It was a close call, but they in a conversation over breakfast, Wiseman also talked about his experience traveling to the United States to see Prince Harry during the Warrior Games, making clear that their encounter wasn't official. This excitement Harry had about what they had seen was evident. By encouraging friends and countries to host it at the Queen Elizabeth Olympic Park and making sure it received wide media attention, including a BBC broadcast, he put out the notion of internationalizing the idea. At this point, Harry's commitment to developing a worldwide platform for veterans was apparent, and the grand vision of the Invictus Games started to take shape. With Meghan Markle's participation, the situation has changed. Wizen shared the flood of letters she received from supporters worried about the Invictus Foundation's standing following Invictus Games Germany 2020, some even asked that she resign from her position. The crucial role in its establishment makes this selection less simple, though. A plan to offer him another chance is currently being considered by the board of directors, but it is contingent on Meghan Markle abstaining from any future events. The crux of the issue lies in the couple's approach rather than their demonstration of their support for the veterans, they have been criticized for what appears to be their focus on their own image. For example, had they watched their own documentary about Invictus, they would have had a wealth of motivational stories of veterans to share in their speeches instead of talking about irrelevant subjects like milkshakes. They should have celebrated the veterans who had overcome adversity and taken part in the Invictus Games by dressing in Invictus gear and mingling with workers and supporters. This would have shown their sincere concern for the veterans at the Games. Additionally, by following the marching veterans, they could have expressed their profound respect for those who have made so many sacrifices in that their actions at the time gave the impression that they considered themselves special guests rather than devoted advocates for the cause. This is a lesson they seem to be slow to learn. Actively participating in the games rather than focusing on the camera would have demonstrated their genuine interest in the teams. The key was to maintain professionalism throughout reflecting their dedication to representing Invictus.